So you want to number rows within your Microsoft Word table. You might want to number a separate column, or you might want to number items in a column with pre-existing text. I'll show you both methods. Let's start with the empty column. So if you don't have any column headings in this column, what you can do is select the whole column by placing a mouse pointer above the column. You'll see that little black arrow. Click once, that'll select the column. Then make sure you're on the Home tab of your ribbon. In the Paragraph group, click on this Numbering button, and that will number each row within your table. Now, I don't think we want numbering in the column headings. That's easy to fix. Just click into that cell, backspace on your keyboard. It'll get rid of the numbering in that first row and renumber the other rows for you. Now I'll undo that. If you did have a column heading there, what you should do, instead of selecting the whole column, just select the cells that you want the numbering to appear in. So that is just a matter of dragging over the cells. Go back up to your numbering button and it will number the cells that you've selected. Now by default, we'll give you that left indent for your numbers. If you want to change the left indent, one way of doing it would be to show the ruler at the top of your document. If it doesn't appear, just go to the View tab and the Show group, make sure ruler is ticked there. And then you'll see that there's a little control, first line indent. If you drag that to the left, that will adjust the indentation for you. Alternatively, if I undo that, you can go to this Paragraph Launcher. And what you need to do is change the left indent here to zero, the hanging indent here to zero, click on OK, and it will change the indent for you. Now, if I want to add numbering to pre-existing text, I select those cells, I go up to the numbering button, and you can see again, it's applied some indentation and some spacing between the numbering and the text. You may be okay with that, but if you want to change it, you've got the same controls up on your ruler, you can drag, numbering over. You can also use this hanging indent control to adjust the spacing between the numbering and the text. Now, if you want to have different forms of numbering, maybe Roman numerals or letters rather than numbers, that's also easy to achieve. You select the cells that you want to change. And what you do is you go up to the little drop down next to the numbering button and you can choose one of these presets. If you can't find what you're looking for here in the numbering library, go to define new number format and you'll have a drop down list here of different numbering formats that you can use. When you do that, it does reapply the default indentation. So you have to fiddle around up here again to get the desired look. You could even prefix your numbering with some text. So if I go back up to the numbering drop down, define new number format. I'm going to change the numbering format back to normal Arabic numbering. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to write delegate in front of the number. Click on OK. Now I might need to widen this column a little bit, adjust the indentation. But there we are, delegate one, delegate two, etc., etc. If you want your numbering to start on a number other than one, click into the first cell that contains your numbering, then right click, set numbering value, and then you can set the value that you want your numbering to start at. So if I said five, click on OK, it'll adjust the numbering. Now, if I want the same indentation, that I apply to the rest of the names, what I could do is click into that line, the line with the correct indentation, go to my Format Painter, and then click into the line that I need to adjust, and it will adjust the indentations. Now, the great thing about this is, is that if I add a new row to my table, so if I click in the last cell of the last row, it will continue the numbering for me. If I insert a row between rows, it will also continue the numbering. If I delete a row within my table, it will adjust the numbering accordingly. 
Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.